with any sort of disability, but especially limb loss, there's an air of, you just have to, like there's an air of like, oh, you're just told to get on and make do and accept that there's certain things you can't do, which is a bit rubbish. Whereas I think it's much, much better to try and make devices and tools that let people try whatever they want to do. I did mechanical engineering. And so a lot of actually, like 95% of what I did was like maths, really intangible. And just, it was re it's, it, it's really hard to get excited about stuff like that. But as soon as we found this, we're making like bits that you can hold and like, you know, they need to look nice and you can feel them and it's tactile and, and they have like cool sounds that they make. And like, there's an immediate kind of benefit to being able to hold something you made. And then that's just amplified tenfold when you give it to someone and, and they like it as well. We were used to a design process where we could just get together as a team and like throw sketches and post-it notes about, have a massive whiteboard and you know, really bounce off each other. Um, kind of trickier to do it virtually, but we've kind of, I think we've kind of got, you know, got how to do it now. So. The, the core product that we're sort of adapting, um, the mix, we, we recently did a project called Limitless, which we're expanding, where we just sent a bunch out. We, we raised enough money to send them out to a bunch of children across the country and just some of the things they kind of been doing with, with you know, like really simple bit of kit, you know, um, it's like a, like a trainer. And like, so we've seen people like kayaking with it and like, um, and like eating dinner, but playing sports and, and they're sending videos and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and most of it is about play. Most of it is just about playing and having fun, which ultimately is the really enjoyable thing. Um, that's what it keeps sort of coming back to. I, mean, I guess that's why we do what we do, isn't it? is to just see the person using it and kind of the biggest perk of our job, I guess. <laughs> so I did I did um, physical product design before of children's car seats, but I never got to really see, you know, the end child that would use it and kind of give it away to a company. Whereas this, you can just give it to people and it's just, it's amazing to see them use it. I, I, I massively subscribe to what Rachel's aiming at, which is at the end of this project to have something that if a person with limb loss goes to her and says, I want to play violin. She can just direct them to our website and they can just buy it immediately and just, just get on with it and not have to wait or worry. Um, and for us as a company, as Koala as a whole, same thing, just so that people, one-stop shop can just go somewhere and immediately get the bits of kit that they, they need to just crack on and do the fun stuff they want to do, no matter where they are in the world. Um, that's, the sort of, that's what we hope for, that's what we're aiming at.